special report. Neil Armstrong may have seen extraterrestrials on the moon. When he spies a discernible shape. That's one small step for man. One giant leap for mankind. You can deny all the things I've seen. All the things I've discovered, but not for much longer. Because too many others know what's happening out there. And no one, no government agency has jurisdiction over the truth. All right. Welcome back. Here we are. Here we are on the subscription side of Full Spectrum Universe. We have quite a panel this evening. I'm going to go mm -hmm. down the line. Of course, you know we have the rescue medium, mm -hmm. Linda, who just did some wonderful readings for all these people. So tonight with us, we have Carol, Bobby, Marissa, Cheryl, Tyler, and mm -hmm. Anne-Marie. Everybody say hello. Hello. Howdy. Howdy. That was in unison. That was pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do here is we're going to talk about the readings that Melinda just did for some of you. Um, if there's things, like I said, you don't want to talk about, just say you don't want to talk about it. We will respect that fact. And uh, Melinda, you want to say hi to everybody? Well, yeah, I want to say hi to everybody and thank you all for coming on doing this tonight. I love every one of you guys and know I'm here to help you in any way that I can. Just holler at me. Thank you. Excellent, excellent. So let's start with you, Carol. How did your reading go? If Melinda were any closer to spot on, she should have been sitting right next to me. <laughs> the, the things going on right now um she had told me that um she, she well she said that i was expecting something and my son his father and i were in a head-on collision at the end of june oh, wow. and i'm waiting for a settlement from that which should be here any day so i keep hoping that 25 days is that's what she's talking about Mm -hmm. um, she was talking about me trying to um, kind of in limbo about, you know, something that I had done and and worrying about. And Saturday I went and bought a new car. Nice. nice. I've been kind of concerned about, you know, the car payment and stuff because I've been out of work for eight weeks with my hand surgery. But I go back next week. So nice. that it, I, it's just I mean. Not to sound, not to sound weird, but it's creepy spot on. Yeah, yeah, it can do that to you. It could definitely do that to you, Carol. I mean, that's amazing that you're going back to work. I'm sorry for the unfortunate turn of events that you actually had that car accident, and but at the same time, you are going to be getting something out of it. So that that works out. It's not in your favor, but you know, it evens out, I guess, in a sense. Hopefully, your hand feels completely 100, percent and you're not going to be. <clears throat> too damaged by it the hand was actually carpal tunnel it, it wasn't related yeah. to the car accident it was just the timing of it was right there together um thankfully the three of us it was my son and his father and i and a little ford ranger and thankfully the three of us walked away from it That's you know the i'm the one that thing. looked like i got uh, the worst of it was when my 12 year old told me the only reason i looked like i had gotten beat up was because i was so fat that I was the closest to the oh, airbags and man. the seatbelt had to pull harder on me. Good. Yeah. Lord. Yeah. That, that, you know, that, that, that was the worst of it for me. But I mean, man. she, Melinda was just, she was so just spot on about so many things. Awesome. So awesome. I, I love watching Melinda. I love her shows. <laughs> and when she picks me, she can't see me over here doing the happy dance. Well, it, <laughs> it's funny because that's how I actually found Melinda when she was doing her Sunday night reading. And I said, oh, wow, this, everybody was like, we, we love Melinda, we love Melinda. So I got in contact with her, and then I brought her on the show, and she blew it out of the water. She's blown it out of the water for readings for me, too. I'm not, I am also a fan. It's not just that, you know, she comes on the show. She actually did it for me, too, so it's, mm -hmm. it's wild. It's wild. So, Bobby, we're going to give you the same question. How did your reading go? You can get into what you want, and I know you don't have to talk about everything, but lay it on us. Lay it on us. <laughs> Absolutely. Nail on the head. 
I don't know if y'all heard me even say the name of the person she said that was coming to me for help. That is already happening. And that person was watching tonight and oh, wow. she messaged me right away and she goes, Bobby, I always knew that we were connected, but to hear somebody else say it is amazing. And I was like, well, did you hear me say your name when she was talking about it? And she's like, yes. And I said, I'm telling you, girlfriend, we're going to get through this no matter what. That's a fact. So. There's, no, there's nothing that can stop anybody here. Everybody here has their own. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm a little empathic, but everybody here has like a presence and like a power to them. Don't let anything hold you back. Everybody's got that drive forward. And Bobby, I'm so glad that, you know, to hear that you're helping somebody go through that. And Melinda helps so many people. And it's so admirable that she does all that because, and, you know, I, I wish I could do more for people like she does, but it's such a great quality in her. Her heart is bigger than I can put in the screen right now. And she's helped so many people. It's amazing. It's amazing. She's phenomenal. Honestly, without Melinda <laughs> and she knows this I would still be in a hole hanging on to something to take it all away and she's been the one that's helped me guide my path and keep me moving in the right direction and because of her I have accomplished so many things on my path that she has said that I was going to accomplish and just every single time, she's just always right on, and she's always there, always, 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 always. So I tell everybody, she is my guide. Whatever Melinda says goes, no matter what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, so. Bobby. That means a lot to me. Thank you. That, you mean a lot to me. So that's awesome. The connection there is amazing amazing and and bobby we spoke for a little while the other day when we were doing like all the tech setup and i can yeah. tell you're an amazing person i hope you stay in contact <clears throat> with all of us you know i you know we're here for you and like i said i want to get you on the show and talk about your house and how your house had some crazy stuff going on mm -hmm. so but oh. marissa it's your turn hi tell it tell us what tell us what you know or tell us what you want um I guess what I can say is I was telling you the other day when we were speaking that I'm kind of lost in a different way that I've been lost in my life before. And I'm just questioning so many things in my life. So those ups and downs that you were describing <laughs> are like my every day within like the same day. And there's a lot of um, uncertainty to them. Um, I know that I was mentioning um, how, you know, you were seeing that maybe you step back from the situation and you can see a little clearer and have, maybe have more of an ob objective outlook. And I always have a hard time doing that. Like I'm always too invested, too in it to be able to see so clearly. Um, so I think maybe just for me, it just validated a lot of, first of all, like pump the brakes maybe a little bit and just slow down. And um just to maybe step back from things. Like I tend to get very caught up and very anxious and it kind of just triggers that emotional roller coaster for me. So I appreciate the confidence boost to kind of follow through with some of the things that I know I need to do. So thank you. Awesome. You're very welcome, hon. And, and the other thing about that too is sometimes validation is what we need to, to 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 take that step back so you know marissa you always have a friend in me you can contact me anytime you want to talk about anything mm -hmm. at all i'm here for everybody in the room everybody it goes for everybody i've known marissa for a very very long time very long time but like i said sometimes that validation gives us that that motivation to take the step back because you get so caught up in the every day and the and the ups and downs that it, it, it's hard to to take yourself away from it or step out of it because that's your normal routine to break that routine sometimes gets difficult. So hopefully that gave you that ability to, to, to know that you have to do that so you can focus on doing that as well. Thank you both. Yeah, no, I, I say thank you, but I'm not, I'm not the one who's doing anything. I'm just, I'm just a yeah, talking head in the room. You're the coordinator and that's, 
Crucial. Exactly. That's yep. it is, but it is, but it isn't. She could have done it herself, but that's okay. Cheryl, we'll move to you. <laughs> um, my reading was, of course, it's on point. It always is. This is my, I believe, my fourth reading by Melinda. Um, I, again, trust her a hundred percent. So what she says goes. Um, that's not the first time that I've been pegged as an intuitive. I know that I'm gifted as an intuitive. Um, I've had my poem read by a different psychic medium at um, in the past, and she's also told me that I'm an intuitive as well. So that validates that as well. Um, but that's not the that's not the the only time I've heard that. Um, I have a tendency to not trust my intuition, which I know I should. Um, but I I do have a very strong intuition, and I should probably listen to it a lot more. Um, she did peg me on the meditation as well. Um, I have been trying to meditate at night, um, you know, while I'm sleeping. I actually had been trying to um, contact or uh, connect with my spirit guide. So I'm hoping that that will come forward. So she was able to do that as well and, and um, validate that as well. So that was pretty cool. And hopefully, hopefully I'll get a little better at meditating and and my spirit guide will actually come through, but it's neat to know that it's a Native American. And I kind of maybe know who to look for. Um, the the female that's trying to connect with me, I'm interested in that, and I'm hoping that that female will also continue to come forward. Um, what else? Um, and when she said about the messages flying around, um, I do have some situations going on that are very confusing and very, I'm very indecisive on and everything. So she was able to validate that as well. So that's, that's correct. She's very, very good. Um, like I said, this is my fourth time that I've gotten a reading from her and she's never been wrong. <laughs> so I really appreciate your gifts, Melinda. And thank you for always kind of steering me, you know, in a, in a direction, you know, cause I, I know, I know you are truly, truly, truly gifted and I appreciate, you know, all of the validation that you give me as well. Oh, Cheryl, that means a lot to me. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're very good. Follow up question to that Cheryl is uh, <clears throat> now that you know all this, and she said it to you multiple times and multiple references have told you this, what's your next step to practice or, you know, uh, what 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 are you gonna do to try and, and center yourself to get to that point or to take advantage of this gift? I want to continue to meditate um, and try. Um, I like I said, I do need to trust my gut a little bit more and trust my intuition because I feel like when when my intu my intuition knows her stuff, I just have to <laughs> I have to trust her a little bit more. Um, you know, when I when I have a feeling like that or an intuitive feeling it usually comes true um, in some way or another. Um, it's almost like, it's almost like being able to kind of see in the future a little bit. I, I don't know how to really, um, uh, I, I guess hone that in, which I'm maybe I'm gonna be able to someday. I'm just gonna continue to try to grow it. And I, I know, I know that's definitely a gift. Um, the Reiki and the healing thing was um, interesting to me. I. That's the kind of the first time that I've heard that. Um, but I know that there's classes that you can take for that. I'd definitely be interested in in looking at that as well. That's wild. We're gonna come back to you, Cheryl, because I have another couple of questions for you, but okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe not questions, comments. I can okay. heal with my hands too. So okay. I I understand that a little bit. But we're gonna go to Tyler. Tyler, don't look away. Come back. <laughs> Your turn, bud. Go ahead, go ahead. So first, uh, I just want to say thank you to uh, Melinda for that wonderful reading. And uh, thank you to Rob for welcoming me here. Um, so I do want to say your reading was 100% spot on. Everything you said was like mind blowing. You know, when you mentioned the d different paths, I have been trying on many, many different hats, trying to figure out, hey, you know, what kind of suits me? What's best for me? And uh, I think I finally found it. So when you said that, I have been going through that recently because I've been trying to figure out, you know, what suits me better. And I came across doing books, music and stuff like that. And for me, 
that is like a big win for me. So, um, and other things they just nail on the head, you know, like the childhood stuff, you know, letting the past breakups or whatever, like not holding on to it, like, Oh, what could have been, what should have been, but kind of just releasing stuff with love and just accepting things for what it is. So you hit it nail on the head and your guidance. I appreciate it. You are a phenomenal, big hearted person with extraordinary gifts. And I couldn't thank you enough for everything that I could just thank you. I appreciate it very much. Mm -hmm. You're very welcome, Tyler. Guys, I I'm here for all of you. So anything, just text me. I'm here for you. But I really, truly appreciate it, Tyler. I have a feeling that Tyler should have wanted to be here tonight and needed to be here tonight to hear that. That's yeah. what I'm getting from him. I think we lost somebody, but it was Carol. We lost Carol. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. We'll come back. So Anne-Marie, same question goes for you too. <clears throat> Well, I want to say that I connected with Melinda actually um, through someone who is so dear to both of us, um, Monique. And I connected with Linda after Monique passed away, which is, I was sort of led to her intuitively. And uh, Monique called Melinda her daughter, and she called me her sister. And um, we're all connected with such a strong connection. and. All of the things that Monique was telling me to do when she was alive, I was afraid to do. Melinda has guided me for two years now through all of that. And she will, um, every time I have a reading, I'll save it, I'll write it down or I'll save it um, because it's so important to me. And I'll go back and I'll look at that while I'm searching for wisdom. And she's always, everything she said to me is so accurate the whole time for two years now. And I don't know what I would have done without her. She has saved me for so long, so many times in so many ways. Um, and she's a true, in this world where there are so many spiritual, so-called spiritual people, um, she's so real. She is so genuine. Um, Linda is a rising star and to be in this intimate little group with her is such a gift because it's not going to last forever. She has got um, such a calling on this planet. I can't even describe, you know, what I feel and what I see for her future. And I've been saying that to her because of what I see and feel intuitively about her. It's just such a gift to have this connection and to be here in this little group because she's the, the people she helps now, it's going to be so exponential when it actually takes off. And, you know, I'm not an expert in timing or anything like that. I just see it all taking off for her because um, she's she's so real. Um, I, I don't know how else to describe it. Um, there's so many people who say they're psychics, but um, Melinda is, is um, she's so gifted and so authentic. And it's all from her heart. Um, it's so rare. I don't think, I haven't met anyone yet like Melinda in my lifetime. And I'm intuitive, but um, she's just, she's here for a reason. She's here for so many more people than, than who she's helping now. It's gonna be <laughs> you know, so much larger. It's, it's all taking form too. I keep watching everything she's doing and I think she's got superhuman strength. She does this, she does that, and then she's got another gift and another gift and it just never stops. It just keeps growing like a beautiful garden blossoming or flower. <laughs> you, I believe you're absolutely right. But do you guys see how the universe works? We're all here tonight for Melinda and look how she's in the center of the screen now connecting all of us. <laughs> you see how that uh -huh. happened? We're all here for her. And now look where she is, right in the center of it, because she binds all of us together. together. You know, a lot of us wouldn't be in this same room if not for her. So it's fitting that she went to the middle of the screen after all said and done. That right there. So, Melinda, I'm going to give you a couple minutes to speak because I've been speaking the whole time. So, <laughs> Well, first of all, I want to say to Anne, me and her was connected. I did not know her from anyone. Uh, I was connected to Monique, and Monique, um, she was very, very special to me, and um, I had never met her, but I got to know her, and then at the time, she was married to Ben, 
And Ben was this big time lawyer in California. He done the OJ Simpson thing and all of that. So then Ben and Monique, they were in the process of adopting me as their daughter. And, um, but to make a, Ann knows the story, but anyway, we ended up losing Ben. And then not long after, maybe a couple, two, four years, Monique passed away unexpectedly. And I was just devastated and I couldn't get any information. And it's still a lot out there about that. But that's how I met Anne. We connected because she was friends with Monique. So I was reaching out, trying to find out what happened. I couldn't get any information. And that's how we connected. But then it was more of Monique putting us together. And then I started seeing things for Anne and I started telling her this, this and this. And then we have been connected ever since. I love her dearly. And she is like a sister to me. And um, but, you know, I, I the only I mean, I know Cheryl from being on Facebook. Bobby, I've known me and Bobby's close. Tyler, I've known for a while. But and um, Carol. Uh, I, I know her uh, just from a long time ago. Um, but, you know, I just feel that, like you said, Rob, we're all here for a reason. And uh, but I'm here. What what my feeling is, is I'm here to help as many people as I can, because the perceptions of a lot of things, because I have had an, um, a near death experience. I went to heaven. I know what is there. And I'm here to give that guidance. So, because there are a lot of people that are afraid of death. They're afraid of what's going to be transpiring on the other side and what they're not realizing. While I have been really into this kind of work, the darkness roams here on this earth. That's where this darkness is. And a lot of people don't see it that way. And that's fine. I respect anyone's religion or whatever their beliefs are, but I just feel like I'm here to help everyone and as many as I can. And that's what I plan on doing. But I want to say thank you to every one of you guys for coming on and being a part of this with us. I, I feel, I feel that you really are helping people. And that's one of the reasons what first brought me to Melinda in that sense is I saw what she was doing for people and their reactions and then the last time we actually had uh, Melinda on the show, we had a reading from the comments and she actually came in contact with a spirit that was giving her information. It was incredible. So that's why I thought this time, I know we were talking about the end of the show, but I thought maybe seeing people's faces would give you guys a better understanding or a better reading in general because uh, but the contact that we all came in, you know, we all had contact with each other while we were on the screen together you could feel each other so melinda melinda could like feed off that and she gets more mm -hmm. power and more power and it gives her a better a better outlook of what she could tell you you know so i thought it was an amazing an amazing i think it's one of the best shows we've ever done my mother texted me my girlfriend told me it was one of the greatest <laughs> shows we did so i mean it was absolutely insane carol is back with us let's bring her in there she is. so i mean Thank you all for coming on tonight. This is just from my point of view, but thank you all for coming on. You guys made this what it was. Without you guys here, it wouldn't have been as great as it was. Exactly. So, Melinda, you are the real deal. You are genuine. Thank you, Carol. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. You, honey, are better than Sylvia Brown. <laughs> Oh I don't my even gosh. know who that is. I, I don't even agree. know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I only oh know gosh. Melinda. That's it. <laughs> um, How can you not know who the late great Sylvia Brown was? <laughs> I'll put it to you this way. I'm like a jack of all trades, master of none. So I go into some some like aspects of, of this type of lifestyle, but I never go all the way. Because I'm, in, uh, I'm into a little bit, and then I'm on to the next one. Into a little bit, then on to the next one. When you're doing shows like this, it's like, to try and keep it different, you have to do something different all the time. So I'm always right. doing research on a bunch of different topics. Like last night we talked about dreams, and it was wild. I went fr from ancient Sumeria up to a, uh, 
a study that they did just like a month ago on how to interpret your dreams. But really, it's still no answers. It only rose more questions than answers by the time I finished. So <laughs> it was, but it was crazy. It was crazy. Well, Rob, what Carol just said, it, it, that is a very major compliment to me. And I really appreciate it. So I agree to it. I agree. <laughs> You're enough. prettier too. Well, thank you. <laughs> God, Carol. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. That's crazy that we were just talking about her today, too, Melinda. I know. I know. Oh, my gosh. Hey, you want to know something else? I think Melinda's better than Teresa Caputo. She outdoes every famous medium out there to me. She is the best one in the entire world. Well, thank you, Tyler. Here we go. Here we go again. Yep. The, the last guy I saw that was a medium was John Edwards. And we all know he's a fraud. Right. He's a fraud. Yeah. So that's the last person I knew that was a famous medium besides Melinda. She's going to be the next famous. If I have anything yeah. to say about her, she's going to be the next famous medium. That's, that's for right. sure. Yeah. But oh, Melinda, you, Rob. if I see you on one of them reality TV shows, Manhattan <laughs> Medium or whatever, where they look like a little hoochie mama, me and you's going to have to have a talk. Well, you won't catch me doing that because I'm totally against that. <laughs> I just, you know, I'm a nice person, but I just want to punch them all in the face and say, shut up. <laughs> yep. Just shut up. You just don't talk. I, I think I love Carol's attitude. I love it. I love it, Carol. I Give it to him. And I'm behaving, aren't I? I'm Not actually sure using my filter. You guys can curse all you want. We're on. We're in the back. We're in the back zone now. This is like the back alley episode. This is. This is. This is okay, free so range here's, back here. here. Here's my question to either one of you: Am I ever going to get laid again? Oh my gosh! I, I, well, that's a good question. I'm not the psychic. I can't tell you that. I have no oh idea. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you know me. You know me. <laughs> Oh my God! Greatest you question of the night, right there. Life. Greatest question of the night. It was. Melinda, Stop. what do you see, Melinda? Come on. <laughs> okay, okay, let me okay. rephrase that. Help for more a, than help thirty girl seconds. Out. Help, <laughs> oh, Jesus. help for a girl out. Seconds. Oh my gosh! Here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that doesn't Let's involve batteries. <laughs> What you hush? It's getting better. It just, it just got better. Wow. Oh, oh my God, girl! What's that? Let me touch your picture. Hang on. Let me touch your picture. You want my sumo neck? My 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 Buddha neck? Here. Oh, Here. Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh my God! 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 Carol, is this somebody that? You already know there's somebody that already knows you. They have been in your life, but they haven't let you know that they feel this way about you. Ooh. He's an older guy, too. He's old, at least eight, eight to ten years older than you. Great. I'm going to get laid by grandpa. <laughs> That's right. That's but listen, that's better than batteries. You kidding me? Viagra, here we come. Oh my Aaron. god! Who knows? He may have a, he may have a trust fund that's huge, or not a trust fund, a bank account that's huge too to add to it. I know there are perks to everything. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> but there is. But you know someone. what? At least if he doesn't have teeth, we're on the same level. I, listen, I wish I had a sponsorship for Viagra right now. It would be a perfect segue to lead into a Viagra right. sponsorship, right? <laughs> but oh, anyway, God. Carol, there is somebody. There is somebody, and you're going to learn who it is within three months. But it is someone that has been in your life for quite a while, but not in that aspect. But eight, eight years old are damn old, and I'm 50. <laughs> what's 58? Oh, if you're 50, what's 58? It's not that far off. Oh, I'm, I'm just stoking the Carol. fire. I'm sorry. I'm just stoking the fire. There are some men that are 58 that are hot. Keep that now, in your mind. Now, <laughs> Look at John Stamos. If it's Wayne Johnson, it's game on. 
<laughs> He's like 49. I do that old man any day of the week. <laughs> Girl, you are something else. Just imagine me drunk, Melinda. Just imagine me drunk. Oh, oh my gosh. Geez. You would be a sight. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. This is wild. This is wild. Uh, but there is somebody, and they are. Okay. Um, I do have a serious question for the two of you, though, if you don't mind. Um, Melinda, can you hear me? Do you remember how I was asking you about my mom? Um, is there any way to find out about somebody that committed suicide? I can't hear any. Melinda, I can't. Okay, now I can hear you again. There we go. Okay. Okay, now I can't hear anything. Can't hear anything? Now I can. There we go. The volume Mel button helps. Melinda, you're muted. You have to unmute yourself. I don't know what that was. That was wild. I never heard that before in my life. I think she's messing. I think her psychic powers are messing up the. Uh, the connection. Why? That was her telling mine. me when I'm getting my booty call, my old man's going to drop dead from a damn heart attack. Uh, <laughs> but Melinda's still muted. I might be able to. There, there you go. go. Okay. Guys, I don't know. I don't know what happened. But as you asked that question and I was getting ready to answer, something just went across, just straight across my computer. And then my computer just, I couldn't hear nobody. I couldn't say, I was like, can you hear me? <laughs> wow. So, Gosh. It's according to how long it's been since they committed suicide. First A year next month. What? One year next month. Okay. That's what I was going to go into. If, when someone commits suicide, a lot of people think that they go to a very dark place. They do go to a lower level, but it's not, it's just because they haven't learned the lesson they needed to learn while they were here. So usually it takes anywhere from a year to like 15 months before that person can come back across the veil. That is in accordance to they went through the light. If they did not go through the light, then they are earthbound. And after someone is earthbound for closer to two years, they become permanently earthbound. They become <clears throat> something that I could call a dark entity. And I have seen this a lot of times. So what I would suggest, Carol, yes, there is a way we can connect to that person, but it needs to be right at the year or a little over anniversary. Because when they commit suicide and they do go through the light, they have all of this stuff they have to read go through and figure out why did they do that? Was it worth that? So it takes them a little bit longer to go into a transition to be able to come back through the veil. But it is possible to do, yes. Okay. I just I want to tell his dad something. He did this like two weeks before his either his twenty first or his twenty second birthday. Jesus. And it's a it was a good friend of mine's son. So, and like I said, his one year anniversary is coming up next month. So, mm -hmm. we, uh, I'll, I'm always willing to give it a shot. Okay. So. I, I just want to be able to tell his dad, you know, he's okay. Trust me. Right. I, I, I have it on good authority that he is okay. Okay. You just get so. with me and we'll do it. But like I said, let it be at least a, exactly a year up to 15 months. So it's just according to how long it takes him to adjust. Okay. Okay. Now, can we get back to me getting a booty call from grandpa? Because this has gotten way too serious. And every one of these ladies looks all depressed and sad now. <laughs> Does anybody else have any questions for Melinda at this point? Melinda. Yes, Molly. <laughs> I can't lie. With knowing who I am and what I'm about, 
I'm kind of interested in this uh, blonde haired, green eyed. I gentleman. know. Uh huh. It's somebody new that's coming in very soon. And it's going to take your life into a totally different direction. I hope you're ready for a whirlwind, Bobby. That sounds exactly. intense. That sounds you know, intense. I can't lie. I'm a little nervous because I'm kind of a lesbian by trait. So when she <laughs> says this, this man is going to, I mean, don't get me wrong. I am married, but I tell him he's very lucky. He snuck in there somehow. <laughs> <laughs> it's, very, it's very kind of ooh, to hear her say that I'm going to have another one kind of Damn, I'm going to where she is it's going to be oh, something God. it's going to be something you can't resist either he's going to come in like a whirlwind and he's going to knock you off your feet I know it yep. you got I'm like kind of hoping maybe they like it was like maybe they're going to be like after transformation or something oh wow maybe wow. I'm since grandpa <laughs> no, but it, it catches. So I'm very excited to see that, especially with on the new path and everything that you've put me on with, you know, my Reiki and all of that. Like I am, I am so very excited for that. Very excited. Okay, maybe you, we'll talk a little bit later on some things. Maybe, maybe gotcha. you guys will be spiritually connected through that kind of lifestyle too. Maybe that's going to be what's going to what's going to build up the suspense and make him so desirable in that sense mm -hmm. that he's real centered. Who knows? You're already rooting for this guy, aren't you? I know. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? I'm rooting for you. I'm not rooting for him. I'm rooting for you. Right. So with that being said, you know, why, why, why not? Why not? Go ahead. <laughs> Do you, girl. Why? Go ahead. As Go long as that. I keep the faith and listen to Melinda, I know I'm going to be in amazing, amazing hands. So I wouldn't doubt Thank it. You. I wouldn't doubt it. At least your hands won't be all old and wrinkled. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Carol. So now, she didn't say that mine was young. All she said was blonde or was blonde and green eyed. <laughs> That's true. She didn't say was old either. That's true. Carol? We haven't defined it yet. So listen, Carol. <laughs> she sits there and she talks about how old she is. I am 52. You're that older than I am? I am 52. I turned 52 in, on August 6th. My husband is 10 years older than me. My first husband was 10 years older than me. And he's wonderful to me. <sighs> so don't what? knock that age thing. Proof is in the yes, pudding. Yes, Proof is in the pudding. <laughs> so, yes, ma'am. I won't knock crap as long as he's got a big checkbook. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Whatever, uh, I ain't knocking nothing. He's got a house in the Bahamas, honey. You can do what you yeah, I'm yours. Let's go. <laughs> Hell, if he's, if, if he's got a house in the Bahamas, I'm coming, too. All right. Yeah, we're he's like, got a house in the Bahamas. We're all damn going. What are you talking that's right. about? It's going to yeah, be a party. It's going to be a beach party. <laughs> Maybe that's my blonde, green-eyed man's son or something, or father. <laughs> that, that, that'll be oh, my wow. tropical time out for my crappy attitude right there. <laughs> oh, my God. Girl, and and she sat down there being quiet. Yeah, oh, and quiet. Come on, Ann, speak up a little bit. I know you have another question. I can oh, see I, it. I always have too many questions for Melinda. I feel like I'm constantly filling her inbox. Please tell me about this. Tell me that. Um, do you see me going back to Paris anytime soon? I keep feeling drawn back there to the Notre Dame. It feels like a very special place. I don't know why um, France keeps calling me back. <laughs> okay, Ann. It's weird that you're asking that because there was something I seen on the cards, but I wasn't. I was going to tell you privately. But this is where you're going to meet that person. Remember the special person. Mm -hmm. You're going to meet them in Paris. It's not in the U.S. Oh, yes, me. I want to go to Paris. So I was going to text you later and tell you and go in more detail about it, but. I'll text you later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Major changes, honey. 
Okay, I love this group, but can I once again point out, Anne gets the Paris dude, Bobby gets the younger one. What the hell do I get? <laughs> and we're all going to the Bahamas, right? <laughs> oh, my hey, God. You're you getting know? a house in the Bahamas, exactly. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. True. That's true. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler, Tyler's been very quiet. I see. I, I feel like he's got another question in him. Go ahead, Tyler. Um, Carol, I, I love your attitude. You're wonderful, and thank you for giving all of us a good laugh. And um, I appreciate that. Um, You're more than welcome, you all. It. You're more than welcome, honey. I, I, it's, it's. You know, I'm retarded by nature, but I'm cute, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's my answer to everything. I'm cute, so right. it doesn't matter. Maybe toothless, but I'm cute. Well, at, at least you enjoy that just because That's just because my fat ass was too lazy to go to the bathroom and put him in. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean. Well, hey, enjoying your life is what matters most. Um, but, um, Melinda. You know the you can go oh. ahead. <laughs> I was just going to tell you the secret to life was Taco Bell and Mountain Dew. Yep. <laughs> I love Taco yep. Bell and Mountain Dew. <laughs> All right. Um, so um, I do have a question. You said there was like someone within like 19 months. Do you know like what type, like, like a love relationship type thing? Like, do you know what this person is going to look like or the hair? Like, do you see that? Like, where am he I going to meet this person? He wants a signal. He wants a signal of what to look for. <laughs> yeah. He wants to be a lazy yeah. one. And, and is he going to look like a sandwich? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What I saw, Tyler, he is going to be a little bit older, but just by two to three years, not much different. He is going to have, and you're, you're just going to flip, but he is going to have blonde hair. Blonde hair and blue eyes. He is going to be a little bit shorter than you. It but happens. it's going to be some, it's going to be a blessing in disguise. So, okay, so it'll be wonderful, right? Like it'll be like for happy ever after, no dumpy, dumpy heartbreak. Well, Tyler, that, everything's not peaches and cream. That takes work, bud. And it's going to be just the most, you know, uh, Cinderella fairy tale. No. Yeah. There's going to be ups just, and downs, but yeah. it's not going to be the things that you have went through before. Okay. That's yeah. I was why just you're making sure. To get out of that yeah. that you're in. Yeah. So I was just bringing that into another relationship, and it's going yeah. to end badly as the others. All righty. Thank you. <laughs> Think about it this way, Tyler. Think about it this way, right? You're on the ocean, and the waves are coming, and you're on a boat, okay? Right. The waves are knocking you all around, but you're holding on to that rail. As long as you hold on, you can weather any storm, but doesn't matter what it is. The waves are right. going to knock you all over the place, so it may not be Cinderella fairy tale, but those ups and downs won't be so bad as long as you just keep holding on to that rail. Right. You'll, you'll, get, you'll get through whatever it may be. The challenges that you're going to face, you're going to face together, and it's going to make you stronger and more together for it. Yep. That's exactly. how relationships work. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, Melinda. Yep. You're very welcome, Tyler. <clears throat> All right, Marissa, you're up. Another question. Go ahead. I don't really have any other questions. I'm just listening. I'm like... <sighs> Totally feeling all this positive energy. Yeah, it's all so <laughs> I don't really remember the last time I laughed this much. Right. But no, I love this energy. Um, so I'm just, yeah, I'm just listening. <laughs> awesome. Well, that means you ain't been talking to the right people, and we're all the right people. So you're in yeah. good hands here. Cheryl, <laughs> it's your turn. Um, you did say something about a female that was trying to connect to me. Can you give me a little more information on that? Or is that just something I'm going to have to kind of find out? She, the presence that I got, she was here for a brief moment. And so that's telling me she is having some kind of difficulty in connecting into this space. So, but what I seen was an older 
I, when I say older, I'm going to say between 50s to 60s years old. Um, she had like her hair was like, I don't know, it was sort of, it was hard to tell because of what it looked like because it was like there and then gone. And I thought we was going to do a connection. And I know Rob, I was like, Rob loves it when that happens. But <laughs> she just did not manifest all the way through. But she was an older female. And it was like I felt she, there was something she didn't get to say to you. Or you didn't get to say to her. And she was wanting that to happen. But she has not really figured out how to do that transfer between the veil. Okay. Wow. Incredible. Incredible. Well, I hate to I hate to burst the bubble of everybody, but it's at that time limit. I want to thank you all again for coming to the subscription mm -hmm. side of Full Spectrum Universe. You guys are all amazing. Keep doing what you're doing. You all really do have positive energy. Marissa is right. And if any of you want to come back on at any time, I'll be more than welcome to have you back. If any of you need anything or uh, just want to reach out, my inbox is always open, and we're gonna. I think we're gonna call it on that. Yeah. Nice meeting all of you. Nice. It was a pleasure meeting you, you all. Guys. <laughs> all right. We'll talk then. Okay. Thanks, Melinda. Thanks, Rob. You got Thank it. You. you got it. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Blessings. Bye. Huh, bye. And with that, another incredible story, okay? Everybody take note. This woman is amazing at what she does. She's touched so many lives. She's helped so many people. I want to thank you all for subscribing and supporting what we do here. Without you, it wouldn't be possible. Have a great night, and I'll see you later.